My name is David Baker, Executive Chef at Le Chateau Garden Bistro, Ayers Hotel & Suites, Costa Mesa. Today I'm going to show you how to make our signature Monte Cristo sandwich. First we're going to start with basic white bread, get a little bit of Best Foods mayo, that's my favorite. We're going to put one layer of Swiss cheese with one layer of ham. Black Forest is my favorite, always has a better flavor. Next piece of bread on top of that as we're building the sandwich, more mayo. Just make sure we get the mayo completely covered all over the bread. Next layer. One more layer of Swiss cheese. And then we go to our smoked turkey breast. This is oven roasted and smoked as well here in house. And one more layer of bread with some more mayo on top. Okay, our sandwich is built. Now what we're going to do is cut off the crust because nobody likes sandwiches with crusts. So we just go around the bread. Try not to lose too much of the sandwich. I cut off the crust because I've always grown up eating crustless bread, so therefore, so are the guests here. All right, so now we've got the sandwich built. What we're gonna do is just cut it at a Diana bias. We've got two pieces ready to go. Now for the batter. So basic French toast batter, very easy to make. Okay, what we're gonna start with for the basic French toast batter is four eggs, whole eggs, half and half, about a cup to a cup and a half, depending on how many sandwiches you're planning to make. A little bit of fresh ground cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon, maybe almost to a tablespoon, depending on how much cinnamon you like. Vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract, about a tablespoon. And then I like to add uh, maple syrup. Not only adds a little sweetness to the batter, but it also will caramelize better in the fryer as the sugars begin to caramelize a little bit more. So we add a little bit of maple syrup. And just lightly beat that until the eggs are beaten and it's all incorporated. Once the uh, egg yolks are completely incorporated and you notice that everything's been beaten together, you're good to go. You don't want to over mix it. Now what we do is we take our batter and take our sandwich, dip all sides, and then right into the fryer. Fryer oil typically should be about 350 to fry a sandwich. Once you start noticing the golden brown color on the bread, you know you're almost there. The cheese should be nice and melted. Meat should be nice and warm. As you can see, the sandwich is nice now golden brown ready to serve, but we're gonna add a little garnish to it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. Makes it more like a brunch dish. Could have it in the morning, afternoon. It's kind of an all day type of sandwich. What we like to serve it with is a raspberry chambord jelly. This is a uh, raspberry jelly already made here in house. It's with a little bit of raspberries, orange juice, and sugar, reduced down to it becomes a jam. Um, and what we do to finish it off is add just a little bit of chambord, to give it a little bit of a kick. Once the sham board is incorporated, and there we have Le Chateau's Monte Cristo sandwich.